It's a delight to be with you. But I have to tell you, as one who spent his career in the scientific community, I get so tired of people who mean well say you can't prove the Bible, but then they'll make some positive statement. I'm so tired of hearing that preamble, this presumption that you can't prove the Bible. Yes, you can. This document, this collection of documents you have in your lap, the Bible, is incredible, and you can demonstrate that it is of extraterrestrial origin. Its origin is from outside our time domain. And I want to give you some examples of things to help demonstrate that this morning. Um, one of the questions that we often get asked is, are there hidden messages in the Bible? And uh, there's a lot of nonsense published in that area, but yes, there are. In fact, Solomon tells us it is the glory of God to conceal a thing and the duty and honor of kings to search out a matter. So we're going to explore some of those things this morning. And I believe that before we're through, you'll have some examples that will strengthen your confidence that that Bible, the Word of God, that we also depend on, is in fact a supernatural document, a unique document. But I'll start by asking you a riddle, and that is, who is the oldest man in the Bible? Anyone? Methuselah, good for you, yes. Methuselah lived 960, 969 years. He's the oldest, the longest life in the Bible. And uh, yet, he uh, died before his father. Yeah, that puzzles you a little bit, doesn't it? He's the oldest man in the Bible, yet he died before his father. Say, I cheated on you. You see, everybody forgets who his father was. His father was a guy by the name of Enoch. And Enoch was an interesting guy. Uh, in the, and we'll talk a little bit about him. He, at the age of 65, something happened in his life that from that point on, he walked with God for another 300 years. Now, what happened was, I should explain something else. The flood of Noah did not come as a surprise. The flood of Noah was preached on for four generations, surprisingly enough. But when Enoch's son was born, God told him that as long as his son is alive, the judgment of that flood would be held back. And indeed, so he names his son Methuselah. That's a Hebrew word from two root words. The word muth, which means his death, that occurs 125 times in the Old Testament. And the verb shalak, which means his death shall, it means to bring or send forth. The combination means his death shall bring or send forth. Strange title. But that's his name. And we discover when we study Genesis chapter 5 carefully that Methuselah was 187 when he had a son by the name of Lamech, and Lamech was 182 when he had a son by the name of Noah. And uh, it was in the 600th year of Noah that the flood came. And the, the, in other words, the year that Methuselah died is the year the flood came. And that was the prophecy. Can you girls imagine what it was like to raise that kid? Every time he caught a cold, the entire neighborhood would go into panic, right? As long as he's alive, everything's right. And when he dies, that's when the Lord did come. The flood did come. Excuse me, when the flood did come. 